If you're tabbing into OBS to move your model just a little bit on the screen to be in the right spot for your game or anything like that, I'm gonna make your life a lot easier today. A lot of people, they shrink this window and then they put their VTuber here in the corner and they're like, oh great, I have my OBS set up all good. This, this is bad. This is not good. You know why this is not good? Because you have zero control over where your VTuber model is without tabbing it to OBS and dragging it around like this with your mouse. Instead, I am arguing that you should leave your VTuber full screen on your OBS like this, and you should hotkey some location for your model so you can go like this wherever you would like to at the click of a button. I leave my model full screen like this, and then I hit control, right arrow key, and I'm right in the corner when I wanna play a game. So the next question is, Faye, how the heck do I set up the hotkeys? This is something that we're gonna do in VTube Studio, so let's go over there. So once you're in VTube Studio, you're gonna double click, hit this cog wheel, and you're gonna go to the last menu here, which will show you all of your hotkey settings. As you can see, I have some basic ones for like angry expression. I have Alt-1 for my angry face. But if we go down here, you can see an example of hotkeys keys I've used to set my model's position on the screen. Left control down for me is therefore front and center. And I also have one for left control left, which puts me into this side of the screen and right puts me on the other side. You can't see me right now, but that's what I use for games. And that's how I can click around like this while holding down all and go across the screen. Let's go ahead and make a new one so you can see exactly how this works. We're hitting add hotkey, hotkey action, move model, select, Record position, this is going to literally record wherever you are on the screen. So grab your model, shrink it, whatever you gotta do. I think you could even rotate it here. I don't have one of these, you could do that. I'm gonna rotate, you can rotate by holding control. Hit record position, then you need a key combination. For me, I'm gonna do left control, and then for funsies, we're gonna do right control, and then I'm gonna do, I don't know, one. And now, I'm gonna hit control up. So that puts me into a position I've already tracked. And we're gonna try out our new one with left control, right control one. And now I'm right here. So go ahead and key a bunch of different positions that you would like, and then you'll have them at the click of a button or two in OBS. Now, the last thing you may notice is that when my model is going across the screen to different positions like this, I get a nice little flowy effect in my hair. That's because I have dragging physics on. So physics is the little bouncy bits of your model that your rigger has put in. And if you want that to happen when you're going around, you need to make sure it's on for drag. So let's go ahead and set that up. We're gonna double click, hit the cog wheel, but instead of the last one, we're gonna be on the person icon here. Right at the top, there's a bunch of stuff, we're ignoring it. We're moving down to physics settings, dragging physics I have set to 61. So if I put this to zero and I move my model around, there's no physics. It's still only tracking my head movements, but nothing is happening just because of my mouse inputs. If I put this to 61-ish, which is where I had it, oopsies, there goes my raccoon. Um, now you can see the physics are happening and that's what controls the other movements with your hotkeys. So on zero again, you can see there's no bouncing, there's no coolness when I do this. But if I put it back up, now we're talking, now now we're flowing around. And then if we put it on the, the max one, we we start to look a, li a little janky. And then if you wanna do all this too, then then you can really look <laughs> real. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> now you can look uh, absolutely uh, bat, bat shit crazy. Anyway, thank you so much for coming to my tutorial. Please don't set your model like this all the time unless you wanna look like this, I guess. I'd recommend around a 50. Wind strength, that's really a personal preference. I've had it on zero. I'm gonna bring the dragging physics back to, where were we? I don't know, 60 sounds about good. These don't have any consequences really, just based on what you think looks good and what is good for you. So play around with it and see what you think. That's it for me today. I hope you learned how to set up your VTube Studio in OBS in a more productive way. I will note that this gets a little bit more complicated when you start using the VTS plugin for multi-models on screen when you do collabs with your friends, but we'll talk about that another time. If you haven't been here before, my name is Faye. I'm a clown VTuber. I make really bad jokes and sometimes I make really useful stuff like this too. Oh my God. This is Grim. He's a magical raccoon and he helps me run the amusement park and you should subscribe. Bye.